Okay, so for you to understand our lesson better, it is better for us to have an illustrative example. And in our illustrative example, I would just be solving for the formworks of this footing right here. Let's say this column right here, this beam right here, and for this slab right here, which is hidden from our view. And using those knowledge, it is better for you to solve for the other uh, members as well using the knowledge that you would be gaining in this pre-recorded lecture. Okay, so first things first, let's solve for the formworks for this footing right here. So as said here, so the footing has a dimension of 1.5 by 1.5 by 0.5 meters or 1,500 by 1,500 by 500 millimeters. Okay, so with those dimensions, so 1.5 by 1.5 by 0 0.5, if we are to fabricate its formworks, it would basically look like this. So what you are actually seeing right now is what its uh, formworks would look like if it is to be fabricated. So this dark brown right here would be your lumber or it, I mean, it would be your bracing made out of lumber. And this light brown right here would be your formwork. So it would be um, the, the plywood that we would be estimating. But take note guys that if you are to estimate the area for the plywood, um, make sure to include this um, increase right here. So in this, I mean, in our formworks for the footing, we are to use 2 inches as our um, bracing. So if that is to be 2 inch bracing, so this um, dimension right here would increase by 2 inches. So that is to be for the uh, computation for the area of the forms. Okay, so if you are confused with what I was saying, I would just be explaining it through computations. So just like what I have said earlier, the first thing that we should do is to solve for the forms. So forms. And in solving for the forms, the first thing that you should do is to get the area of the forms, of course. So area forms. So the area of the forms is the area of the plywood in the three-dimensional object in your upper right corner. So yung plywood lang yung i-compute natin. So that is to be, um, since its dimension would be 1.5 by 1.5 by 0.5, so 1.5 meters, so times 2. So what I would be doing is that I would be multiplying the perimeter by the height, which is 0 0.5 for me to get the area of the form. So 1.5 meters times 2. So this would be two sides of this. So this would be this side right here and the other side as well. So it would be this side as well. And as for the other two, so once again, you should increase them by 2 inches since we are to use 2 inches for our bracing. So 2 inches here and 2 inches for the other side as well. So from that, I would be hiding our three-dimensional object first for us to have space. So once again, I would be adding plus 1.5 plus 2 inches and 2 inches in millimeters would be 0 0.05. And I would be multiplying it by 2 since once again, uh, I'm considering our three-dimensional object right here, dapat dulo to dulo siya. And it is effective to this part right here as well as this part right here. So that's why I have multiplied our additional length by 2. Okay, if that is to be one side, we would once again be multiplying this by 2 because, of course, it would cover this other side as well. Okay, so from that, since that is to be the perimeter of our formworks, we would be multiplying this by the height, which is times 0 0.5 meters. And spoiler alert, the answer is actually in the calculator already. But let's solve it. So 1.5 times 2 plus um, 1.5 plus 0 0.05 times 2 times 2. Enter times 0.5. So that is to be 3.1 square meters. So that is for the area for the forms. So equal sign 3.1 square meters. Okay, so for us to get the number of plywoods needed for it, I mean, for us to cover this much, so the number of plywood and ply is equal to 
the area of the form, so 3.1 square meters, divided by the area of 1 a plywood. And if you can rem remember, uh, the area for 1 plywood would be 2.88 square meters. So 2.88 square meters per piece. So square meters would cancel out and this would give you an answer of so 3.1 divided by 2.88 that is to be 1.08 which we would ultimately round up to uh, two pieces of plywood so let's say that we are to use um, one fourth inch thickness so two pieces four feet by eight feet by one fourth inch plywood so this is for one footing only so the next step is to solve for the bracing so considering our i mean considering the steps that i have um, shown to you a while back for the bracings the first thing that you should do is to compute for the board foot requirement and so for the board foot that so let's say board foot bracing that is equal to your area of the forms which is 3.1 square meters times our factor so i have shown to you a while back that in estimating the number of board foot for our bracing we must just multiply this by 12.71 so this is uh, derived from our engineering forefathers once again so 12.71 board foot per square meter so getting the answer here that is to be 3.1 times 12.71 that is to be 39.401 so that is for the bracing okay and if we are to use let's say 2 by 2 by let's say 12 feet so 2 inches by 2 inches by 12 feet so for us to get the number of pieces of 2 by 2 by 12 that we would be using for our bracing we would be dividing this volume right here by the volume of 1 2 by 2 by 12 so if we are to get the number of board foot of this lumber right here we must multiply it by our conversion factor of so 1 board foot for every um, 12 inch inch Fit. so this is one um, this is our conversion factor here so equal sign so multiplying this so 2 by 2 by 12 divided by 12 that is to be 4 so 4 board foot per piece 4 bf per piece so okay since we don't have any space anymore i would just be copying this to our next slide so there and that is I mean for us to get the number of 2 by 2 by 12 so n 2 by 2 by 12 is equal to the total number of board foot which is 39.401 board foot divided by 4 board foot per piece so board foot would cancel out and you we would be having an answer of so 39.401 divided by 4, that is to be 9.85, which we would ultimately round up to 10 pieces 2 by 2 by 12. So that is to be our answer for our bracing. And for letter C, scaffold. And since our footing is resting in the ground, we don't need scaffold here so this is not applicable 